All right, so this is going to be for people who want to record in OBS um, but don't necessarily have the greatest computer um, for recording. Um, so if you're one of those people, one thing you might have noticed is you'll get a lot of CPU encoding errors. Um, and then what starts to happen is your computer will start to lag. Um, the frame rate will drop in whatever game you're playing. Uh, and then your OBS recording starts to skip and you just get a terrible video in the end. Um, so there's lots of things you can do. Um, obviously you can try lowering the quality settings in whatever game you're playing or closing any programs that you're not using. So obviously those will help and you should probably try to do that first. Um, but if you've done all that, you'll have to change the settings in OBS, um, which can be confusing because there's a lot of settings. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a fresh install of OBS um, and then we'll go through uh, not all the settings, but the ones that will have the biggest impact on the performance of OBS. So what you want to do is you just want to go to file and settings. And as I said, there's a lot of settings here, but the ones that are going to impact um, performance the most are going to be frame rate, uh, your output resolution, and the CPU encoding preset that you use. So first we'll start with the easiest. We'll just go down to video. So your frame rate here, you want to lower this if you can. Um, if you're trying to record at 60, uh, just bump it down to 30 or even then you can try bump it down to 25. It won't matter too much. Um, and yeah, your output resolution as well. Um, you can leave your base resolution to whatever typically whatever your monitor resolution is. Um, but what matters more is your output resolution. Um, and this will basically shrink down the size of your video, um, which is a lot easier to encode. Um, so this downscale filter, don't really need to worry about it. It doesn't have that much of an impact on um, performance. Um, so yeah, those are two easy changes you can make. If you go to output, um, if you haven't set this to advanced, set it to advanced. Um, the other thing that can make a big difference is see here, the CPU usage preset. Um, by default, it's fast. Basically, the faster you set this preset, the easier it is for your CPU to encode the, uh, your video. But this comes at an expense of uh, quality. So if you set it to super fast, uh, it will consume less CPU usage, um, but you will need to bump up your bit rate to compensate for that. Um, so your bit rate, if you set it, um, it doesn't really matter what you set this to. This is more limited to your network speed um, if you're if you're streaming. Um, but for the bit rates you're going to be using, you probably won't. It probably won't have that much of an impact on CPU usage at all. So you don't have to worry. Uh, as far as that's concerned. Um, and that's about it. But there's one other thing you can do if you have a relatively modern uh, GPU. Um, so if you go into an encoder, if you have a modern GPU, you'll you'll see this NVENC, the NVIDIA encoder. And basically this will offset um, a lot of the CPU load. Um, a lot of the load, the encoding load from your CPU onto your GPU. And this will have a huge difference. This will make a huge difference and ha will have a really big impact on the performance of OBS. So you should have a much, much smoother recording in the end. And your game, when you're playing it, should also be a lot smoother as well. So if you've got this, definitely set it to, to NVENC if you can. Um, but keep in mind, this does also come at the expense of quality, so you will have to bump up that bit rate um, to compensate for that. But um, yeah, that's about it. There's a lot more other settings, but I think those settings, if you can get those right, um, yeah, that should help you out uh, tremendously. So if you've got any more questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment or you can send me a message. Again, my um, social links are in the description, but for now, Catch you guys in the next one.